Hi guys, it's Monica. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where to begin. I know I've been, um, you know, I had done the vlogs for my vacation and all that stuff, but I had wanted to do a video for last weekend and then all sorts of stuff happened once we came home and it was just like, it was like impossible. So I'm going to share a couple of products, a couple of things with you. So if you're curious or interested, stay tuned. Alrighty, so if you watch the two vacation videos, by now you know that Jay and I went on a trip, two week trip to Florida. We spent some time with some friends, with my mother-in-law, and then we went to the um, east coast of Florida and we visited with Marlene. So we had a couple of days that we spent with Marlene. She was gracious enough to host us in her home. We went out to dinner, we explored. Marlene and I played with videos, with hair, with makeup. It was, it was just absolutely awesome. For Marlene's, we ended up going to, um, we went to, we canceled our flight home and we ended up going to, to Marietta, Georgia, drove in our rental car from Marlene's place. And we visited with my stepson and his wife and that was like absolutely awesome. And then from there, we drove to Myrtle Beach and that was not too bad of a ride. It was like a six hour ride. And um, we ended up staying with Sheila and her husband, David. And we had a blast. So the longest stretch of our vacation was in Myrtle Beach. Sheila and I had a blast. We did, we did a video together. We did some sightseeing, we went out to dinner. We just got caught up. We had girls chat. We had, it, was, it was amazing staying there and exploring the whole area with Sheila. So, as I mentioned, I think before we left, Jay and I were doing um, a 1031 tax exchange and we were looking for a similar type of a property to invest in. And we've narrowed it down to the Myrtle Beach area. South Carolina seems to be super friendly tax state. It's not anything we can move into, at least not for two years, because if you do a 1031 tax exchange, it's an investment property. We sold an investment property, purchasing an investment property and um, the rules are pretty strict. So we're super excited. We do have something under contract, pending home inspection, so, so who knows how that is going to go. But anyways, when I was down there, um, there's a couple of things that happened. I had received some stuff, some products that I was supposed to review beforehand, and I never did. One was, and this actually came while I was gone, so there was no no big deal about this at all, but many of you have heard me talk about Julia before, and I've shared some of the products that I have from Julia, the rings that I have, and sometimes, like, I'll wear this ring. It looks almost identical to my real band, and people don't even know the difference. So, for me, perfect for traveling. This has held up remarkably well. I want to say I've had this particular ring gosh, um, maybe two years now, something like that. And I've had a few other pieces from Julia over time, but they recently sent me this piece and I haven't worn it yet. This is a band, I'm sorry, and a band. So it has a band and a stone and it really is pretty. I'm hoping that this will pick up on it. I'm hoping that this picks up. Anyways, the band has, and I'll leave all the details below. Now, this is a size six, so for whatever reason, which is about the size my fingers normally are, um, sometimes when my hands swell, I can't get the rings on, you know, type of thing. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. It has a separate band, but I think because of the, I don't, I can't wear it together. I can't wear the two of them together on the same fingers because my hands right now are swollen a little bit. But it has this really pretty band that you can wear as a companion piece for this or not. But I just think this is, this is beautiful. And if you've ever seen any of the Julia presentations when they ship anything to you or when you buy, it comes secure in a wrap and bag. It has a gift bag that goes along with it which is really nice with instructions for any kind of cleaning or if you want to give a card 
you know, if you're giving this as a gift, it has all of that. Plus it has all of the care instructions for the pieces. And when you look at buying jewelry, and you want, you know, you're going to be spending a little bit more for a, a piece of jewelry. And e even though you know it's not 14 karat gold or 10 karat gold or whatever it is, or a platinum or a real diamonds, you want it to hold up and you want it to look nice. And I will tell you honestly, the test of time for Julia, the test of time has been remarkable, right? Because I've had, and I haven't cleaned this ring at all. So this has basically been worn almost every day since I've been home and I haven't cleaned it and this is probably in my possession for about two years so when I give it a good cleaning it'll probably be just as sparkling as this brand new one that I have on here this is such a pretty pretty piece I absolutely love it I think it's gorgeous so anyways Julia um they, they have a huge line of products that I think are absolutely amazing. So be sure to check it out. I'll link it all below. They really have some fantastic pieces. I absolutely love them. The other thing that was sent to me was, um, and, I, and I use Vita Optima. I've talked about this company before, and they have sent me, this is Elevate, I have Elevate 8 Gummies Juicy Fruit, 500 milligrams and 300 milligrams. This is a CBD Premium Delta 8 Gummy. If you are, oh my gosh, what can I say? If you are into any kind of CBD products to relax you, to maybe give you some better clarity, these are, these are amazing. I have tried their sleep gummies. I also have other gummies that I have reviewed and tried, but their sleep gummies so far have been the best for me. I really, really like them a lot. And the daytime, I call these daytime, is because they're not drowsy. They're not anything that's going to put you to sleep. But the Evaluate um, is the 300 milligrams, and then I've got this one here, which is 500 milligrams. They taste good. I just take one a day. It's like taking a vitamin. It kind of, you know, just gives me some, a really, I just feel really, really good. So again, this was sent to me, complimentary from Skeppers, Skeepers, Skeppers, Skeepers, 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 formerly the Octoly Network, complimentary from Vita Optima in exchange for a review. And I, I've talked about these products before and I, highly 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 recommend them of course anytime you're doing anything with anything like cbd or whatever you should really do your own research investigate it make sure that it's something you feel comfortable with these are amazing i have really liked them another thing that i got and i haven't had a chance to even set this up but vaunt has sent me and I've, I've reviewed products for Vaunt before. I have those little lanterns that i use in my rv well they sent me this strip lighting with a remote that you can put on like twinkle lights behind you know something like that so i haven't set them up yet i think i'm going to set them up here in the bookshelf behind me but i also they sent me a second one and i think i'm going to set it up in my in the shop that we had the converted machine shop that we've set up i've got like a little green screen studio out there that i'm trying to work on except there's no heat so it's like really really cold but anyways vaunt sent these for me for review they came shortly before i left i didn't have time to do anything and since i've been back i haven't had time to do anything but this is a light strip from vaunt i believe these you can get these on amazon really affordable prices I like them and I will, of course, update you after I have them set up and put on. <laughs> so a couple of products that I used while I was away and I just wanted to talk about how it worked because, you know, when you're packing and you're going for two weeks, you want to try to keep it light. Of course, I always, always overpack, but I had taken this gamage, the Kleenex Zero. I love this. I, I did a really good job. I took this. I also uh, took my... Um, my cleansing oil and I just got another uh, DHC. I actually have this on auto delivery from Amazon. So I took one of those in a smaller container, my Clean It Zero, the, gaza the gamage, and then also the Clean It Zero that I took pretty well everything off of my face. So these were the three cleansing products that I brought with me when that I used. Now, 
I brought also this toning pad. So my cleansing products, and then I had a toning pad. And this is that, I had reviewed this, this was sent to me complimentary from the Octoly Network Skeppers as well. Um, Medeca Derma, and this is the Squeeze Toning Pad. I talked about this. They also sent me a cream, a hyd hydrating cream. Really like both of these products. Now the cleansing pad has a rough side on one side of the pad and a smoother one on the other. So it's more of an exfoliating type pad. Um, it isn't something you're going to take your makeup off with. The other products would do that. But I brought this in this and I thought, oh my gosh, it was really awesome. So uh, those worked out really well for me. Of course, while I was away, you know, Sheila had shared one of her vitamin C's with me. So I brought some of that home to use. And, and um, you know, Marlene, of course, she was trying to teach me how to contour my face a little bit. And uh, <laughs> I wasn't doing that great of a job with the contour, but she was trying to really teach me how to do that. When we were gone, it was wet. The weather was cold. So there was no walking around barefoot on the beach. You know, there's no sun time like that, which was probably perfect because, you know, we were going from one area to another, checking this out and checking that out and always, always pressed for time. But I had read about this product. And so it, the interesting thing is that when I read about this product, I said, mm, this might be a perfect vacation companion, you know, like you don't want to stop your Retin-A when you're away, um, but you also may not want to use Retin-A when you're away, especially in the sun, and that's what I was afraid of. So I had gotten some, and I had read about this in one of the magazines that I follow, which was the trends for skincare and, you know, consumer reports and all that stuff. Well, this particular company was mentioned for these two retinol products and um, they they said it's like a little miracle um, if you use this it works really well and because I'm a retin-a work user I thought maybe this would be a great companion piece and I also thought maybe the eye stick stick would be something I could use under my eyes um, because I used to always use retinol under my eyes I kind of stopped a lot of that especially after I had my most surgery right here but I used to always use retinol under my eyes and up here on my brow bone. So I thought maybe this would be perfect. And let me show you what they look like. So the eye stick is actually the pink one. You'll have to read about this because it's called Peace Out Retinol Eye Stick. And I don't know, you know, everything I read, all the reviews I read was that this is a pretty good product. So it's like in a little lipstick tube and you glide this on. Now, some people have said that it's harder to come on. I have found that my eye stick glides on really easy, but if it didn't, I would just kind of like maybe put some in my finger and warm it up. You can do it whichever way you want. Um, I just use this. It probably isn't the best thing to, way to do it, but that's how I've been doing it. So I've been putting this on and I put it on all the way around my eye and then on my brow bone and then my crow's feet. And that's what I've been doing. And now when I use my Retin-A, I obviously don't go up that close. So I also bought the same time I bought their face stick. So I bought their Retinol eye stick and then I got their Retinol face stick. So when I look at this, this is Peace Out again. The black one is for the face. Let me put this down. There's a little cover and it got stuck in here. There's a little cover inside. Anyways, same thing, but this is a lot more harder. So I've been taking this and putting it on my hand and then warming it up a little bit and putting it on my face. But what I've been doing with this is I've been running right up my face. Now I've got the other retinol around my eyes, so I don't have to go up there, but I'm running all up my face above my lip because of the smoker wrinkles when I used to smoke. And then, of course, on my forehead, I'm working on my 11s. I still use my frowny at night. I took, I had my frowny with me on vacation, and I used it. So um, this, this was, I thought, maybe if it's a product as good as they all, as all the reviews I read, if it ends up being that good for me, 
I'll probably be super happy. So this might be a miracle. I mean, the reviews are saying it's a miracle. I have not really noticed any difference in my face. Now, some people are saying, oh, I woke up and I saw a difference right away. Well, you know what I see a difference is that it is, my skin is very moisturized in the morning. It's not dry. So I noticed the moisturizing. Now, I have not, while I was using this, I've, I've not used the Mom, the Milk of Magnesia, which is still my holy grail go-to. And um, But I've not used it while I was just using this and trying this out. So I think the idea is pretty cool. I like it. We'll see how it works. Uh, I'll link the information below for you guys. You can check it out if you want. We'll see how it works. This is by no means a finished review on it because so far I like it, but I can't say, oh, it's a miracle I woke up with less wrinkles. No, I did not wake up with less wrinkles. I still have wrinkles. So anyway, since I've been home, my company has doubled in size. They had an acquisition, which I knew about and we were planning before I left on vacation, but then it got moved up a week. And so that kind of was like, oh my gosh. So my company has doubled in size, and that means that I'm actually doing more work now than I was before. So this whole week coming back from vacation was insanely crazy. And then this weekend, the cold weather, you know, we've had like, we've had below zero temperatures, and we're not used to the below zero temperature. I mean, Every now and then you're going to go below zero, but on a norm, no. So can I handle zero, seven degrees, 10 degrees, 20? Yes, that's more of a normal thing. But when you go, you know, uh, 17 below zero, it's crazy. So people's pipes were bursting. People were having furnaces. Furnaces couldn't keep up. Well, yesterday got a call, um, talked to my mother in the morning, and she was very, very cold. And um, so Jay went down to look at at what was going on because I wasn't even dressed and um, her furnace was really not operating correctly. The house was like 64 and for my mother at 94, 64 is very cold. I could handle 64 but it's very different for her. So long story short, Jay spent all day yesterday down there trying to get someone to come service the furnace to look and see what was going on. Even though we had suspicions, we're not in that industry, it was almost impossible. So long story short, obviously it was like everyone else, your furnaces cannot keep up with the heat demand. So um, today, Sunday, at the time of this filming, I'm not too sure if I'm going to upload this later tonight, hopefully, um, her heat is operating. Thank goodness for that. So yeah, it's been, it's been totally crazy. So vacation was awesome. We also had a huge company event, I'll show you my, my little... Um, my little mask that I wore. We had this huge company event that we went to. Jay had a mask and it, the theme was masquerade. It was a formal event. We do our awards ceremony. They call them the Aussies every February in my company. So every now and then it's we have a theme. A couple of years ago it was wrong. 20s. This time it was masquerade. So people came with masks on, you know, different get outs. But it was a formal event so you had to wear sort of more formal clothes. And um, this is what I wore and I had taken these threaders. These, I had actually gotten these. I bought these from Glitzy Fritzy when she had her store years ago and you thread them through. You get the pearl and you get the little diamond. Well, I took the threaders and I just temporarily put them on my mask because I wanted to have something dangling. And everyone's going, oh, look at your little, look at your pearl and your little diamond. And, and I thought, yeah, I said, oh, those are earrings, right? I said, yeah, they're threaders. So anyways, that was my mask, and I'll I'll enclose a couple of pictures so you can see what we what we kind what we looked like. Jay didn't even want to wear a mask, but I did get him one at the party store, and he ended up surprising me. The reason he surprised me was when I told him I put on my blonde blonde wig, and I said to him, "Put my mask on before we were going." I said, "Do you think anyone will recognize me?" He goes, "They're all going to know you because you're going to be with me." And I just looked at him and I said. No, I'm not. I'm going to ditch you. I don't want people to know who I am. You're on your own. <laughs> a couple of hours later, he comes walking out with the mask I bought him on. And I said, oh, you going to wear a mask? He said, yeah, probably. <laughs> I think it was because I said I was going to ditch him. <laughs> I think, anyways. <laughs> I could be wrong. But that's, that's, uh, that's what I think. So, yeah. He wore his silly mask. I wore my silly mask. And... <laughs> 
it was a fun fun night so i hope you enjoyed some of the photos and thank you all so much for coming back and i'm sorry i'm sorry i've been missing in action but you all know life, life happens sometimes and uh, you just you just don't really you don't know right i mean you gotta go with the flow so and that's what we did and take a look at this beauteous ring from julia my gosh i love it <laughs> anyways thank you all so much guys and i'll see you in my next video